previously on Dance Moms. I just want Kelly back. I know, that's the plan. Girls, where are you? I'm going to replace the entire team. Melissa, this is Abby. You are losing your mind. If you're gonna jeopardize Maddie and Mackenzie, they're replacing our kids. Well, welcome. Thank you. Are you my new Maddie? I'm thrilled. Sophia is on top of the pyramid, and she's not even here. My next routine will be a duet with Maddie and Kendall. Coming up on Dance Moms. I want to make sure that you're all aware your replacements will be at the competition. You're really, like, making fun of our kids. Sorry. Could you quit running up to the mirror so close? Think! Mackenzie forgets her dance on stage. She goes completely black. You know what? My daughter is special. your kids on Paige and Brooke. You know, we all make mistakes, Abby. We love you. We were ready to work with you. And you sat out there. I'm sorry. That was hurtful. Get up. Get on the floor. My world is with my girls. Living on the dance floor. Studio? Oh, from the competition? What did he want? He just left a message. I don't know. Hi, Devin. This is Abby from the Abby Lee Dance Company. How are you? I'm doing well, Abby. How are you doing today? Good. I just wanted to return your call. Gianna had said that you called, and I wanted to thank you. I did want to make you aware of an issue. Contestant number 217, Sugar and Spice, received second place highest score in the duet trio. So we did give you guys the incorrect award, so we wanted the opportunity to let you know that it was a mistake on our part, and we do apologize for that. All right, well, thank you so much for calling. How about that? So they didn't win. Well, Kendall just had a rough win. weekend. Last week at Dance Troop Challenge in Greensboro, Kendall and Maddie won it all. Number 217, Sugar and Spice, Abby Lee Dance Company. Turns out there was an error in the calculations, and they were second. And we all know what second is. The biggest loser on the stage. Well, once again, I'm not very happy. When I left that competition, everybody was gloating about how amazing you were. The big winners, nothing blew me away. I think all of you would be interested in knowing that our duet, Sugar and Spice, did not win. There was a mathematical error. And that means that Sugar and Spice, Maddie and Kendall, were not the overall high score winning duet trio. So Greensboro, North Carolina, which we thought was a smashing success, turned out to be a big letdown. Abby couldn't wait to come in and tell us that Kendall and Maddie did not get first place. And I think Abby reveled in that. I watched the group number. I saw some superb dancing, and I saw some horrendous dancing. Kendall, whose place did you take? Sophia's. Did you look like she would have looked doing that number? You don't know? I'll tell ya. No way. Sophia is still in LA. She's there with her mom. She's doing television. She's doing performances. So I need the girls to step it up in Sophia's absence, and they're just not doing it. Listen to me. Learn this. Every single one of you, when you're in here rehearsing and you keep screwing up, you don't need me to stand there and point out every mistake. Can't you see it? If you don't want to be a better dancer, I'm not going to waste my breath on you. I want to worry about the kid who wants to be a star, not the kid that's here just so she gets invited to all the birthday parties. Kendall, you worked your way up that pyramid, and now you're right back where you started from. Next, Maddie. All for one, one for all. It's about the team. Kendall's there, you went with her. Mia, you did an okay job. I just don't see the feet getting any better. Moving up, Paige. You placed in the top five. That's an improvement. Next. Chloe, I thought you really stood out starting the group dance. Was the group fabulous? No. I think if your mother was more honest with you, like she used to be two or three years ago, you would continue to improve. And on top of the pyramid is Mackenzie. It's like you bumped your sister right down there. Does it feel good to be up there? Well, guess what? You are back in the group routine. If you could go against nine-year-olds and win, 
then you can dance with a nine-year-old. I was the big winner last week, so Abby put me on the top of the pyramid. Pressure's on. This weekend, we will be traveling to Intensity Dance in Woodbridge, Virginia. Your replacements will be at the competition along with the rest of their studio. When the moms walked out of my studio, I replaced their kids. That's what you do. Two of those replacements, Kaylee and Bella, are going to be attending the dance competition this weekend. And I'm sure that they want nothing more than to beat my team. Mackenzie, you have a solo. Not only are you in this week's group routine, but you are going to be featured in the number as well. That's because this week we are doing an acrobatic routine. Bowie, I know acrobatics is not your forte, but your mom has stood out that desk and told me on several occasions that you have your standing back tuck. So that's how the number's gonna start. Oh no, You're Chloe is not tuck. doing a standing Oh yes, she is. No, Abby, I refuse. Yep. No, Abby, she does not have permission to do you that. You just said that she had I it. said that months ago. Right. So it should be better. Abby telling Chloe that she's starting the group dance with a standing back tuck really sets me off because Abby knows that Chloe is not confident in the standing back tuck. So she's really just setting her up to fail. Chloe, you do you think you're confident enough? Be honest, Chloe. Well, why would you come and tell me your kid can do back tuck? Because when she... parents come and tell me things, it's because they want me to work it into the no, number. No, Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. You know she is afraid of gymnastics tricks. She is not allowed to do it. You know what? You had Paige do a standing back tuck in that dressing room and she broke no, her foot. I didn't. Yes, you did. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, okay. can I try it? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. You said, I want to see that standing back tuck. Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. But the more we sit here and argue, the more they're not. Promising. I'm not arguing. I invited a child to do a trick that her mother said she could do. Chloe, you were supposed to do a solo this week. But after the performance your mother just gave, we're going to hold off on that. All right, girls, spread apart. Mothers, you are dismissed. Maybe you want to sit and really watch upstairs instead of being on your phones. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't even get it. One, two. Switch. The name of the group routine is Arabian Nights. It's a contortion, acrobatic, gymnastic tumbling two. routine. Jump up, you got to jump your feet together. It has it all, complete with your authentic hands. It has to be sharp. Boom. Do you think that I was wrong for standing up for Chloe? I don't think you're wrong at all. I just think that you fell right into Abby's trap. One, two. I think this Arabian dance will be a challenge for Paige because Abby always is yelling at her for her arms. Well, it's going to be a challenge for Chloe because out of the group, she's not a gymnast. A gymnast or an acrobat. Paige, your elbows are lazy. First time I'm telling you. Let it be the last. So do you think that really bothers Maddie that Kenzie has all these solos and is the lead? Oh. I mean, that's usually Maddie's spot. Yeah, but Maddie is not jealous of her sister. She's proud of her, but she gets stressed out. Unless I suggested that you get some of Christy's spunk that she had at Pyramid. I just don't know how you can sit there, like, and not say anything. It's been a few weeks, and Maddie still hasn't had a solo. It's hard, but, you know, she knows she'll get one eventually. Well, I'm going to talk to Abby. <gasps> You are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, after. Good. About what? After rehearsal. I'm proud of you. That's good. I'm letting you all go. You were dismissed. Go through that door. Ab, can I talk to you for a sec before you leave? Yeah, what? I really would love for Maddie to prove to you that she can win. I know, and, Melissa, you but know... you have to realize that she was just in a duet with Kendall. And even though she was a lot better than Kendall and a lot stronger, she didn't blow me away either. She is special. And my daughter I know, but why wants am to dance. I telling you that? Why wouldn't a kid that had the potential to make it, to have a career in this business, not have her own integrity, her own ambition she to, to get out in. of the car and walk in? She wanted to come in. Then why didn't you? What, what kind of parent were you to not let her? If you're doing this for Kelly, you're a fool. Don't do this to your kid. I've been committed to the studio. But your daughter has been given opportunity after opportunity and after I opportunity. It. And I appreciate that. I have sent that. her to New York for auditions. And she's I took gone her to every LA. time. I do all of these things, Melissa. And I know that. I called you. I know you did. I called you. I didn't call every one of those mothers. You, you know what? My risked daughter is special. Your kids special on Paige and Brooke. I would have never picked up the phone and called Sophia if Maddie would have been in this building working her butt off. Well, you know, we all make mistakes, Abby. I've been yeah, committed to this Yeah, but what you did, video. you hurt your own kid. You didn't hurt me. I, I realize that, Abby. No solo this weekend. There is no way, Melissa, 
You did this to Maddie, not me. I'm not gonna worry about it. Come on, let's go. Get dressed, man. Get your shoes on. Who's gonna have the other solo this week? Well, Melissa just asked me if Maddie could do a solo. After that, do no. it. No. No way. No. Maddie's talking about you. And now she wants a solo. And now she wants a solo. It's okay. I really want to do it. I know. You work hard, Maddie. You don't miss classes. You're a good girl, okay? Now, you all realize that we had to put an extra class in the schedule because we're doing an acrobatic routine this week. So let's spread apart and let's do some drills quickly. We teach acrobatics and gymnastics at our studio every single day. But I feel the kids need an extra class just to go through the tricks that I'm going to use in the routine. A little better, a little tighter. Ready? Five. The group dance this week is acrobatic, and that makes me a little nervous because acro is not Chloe's forte. OK, she'd not be one of the ones. Go ahead. She's the one whose mother thinks she can do the back tuck. You're so crooked. You're so All that alignment from that left split comes out in everything you do. Why is Chloe crying? Because Abby's awful to her. Wouldn't you like one free punch at Abby's face? You know what? She's not happy unless she's humiliating someone. Chloe struggles in acrobatic class. She's not flexible for acrobatics, and she's not strong for gymnastics. But if I put a standing back tuck in this routine, everybody has to do it. Put the mats away. Any news on the solos? I think Chloe anybody? has one. Chloe has a solo? No. Not as far as I know. Didn't she learn one today? She, she was supposed to. When you asked her yesterday for a solo, what did Abby say? Oh, she just kept ranting. I gave your daughter all these opportunities. And I'm like, I did a lot for you through these years. She says we're ungrateful. And ungrateful. That's being ungrateful. She's ungrateful. Right. Well, Melissa, I'm glad you stuck with us in the parking lot, because I know that was Me hard too. for you to do. I am, too. And don't regret what she did. A true friend would not be treating you this way, or your children. I know Abby is still angry at me for walking out on her during the silent protest, and now Maddie's suffering from it. I'm really beginning to wonder if I made the right decision walking out with the moms. Five, six, seven, go. Ah, what are you two doing? Uh-oh, Kenzie's crying. Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? What's going on? What's going on? Go get a drink. Come on. I find it funny that Melissa feels upset, mad. My yeah. kid's always a backup dancer, and my kid never gets a solo. Melissa and Maddie are making such a big deal out of it that they don't have a solo. Well, like, welcome to my life, my kid's life. Melissa and Maddie can't stand it that Maddie's not the star. I am fortunate that Chloe has solos often, but you guys have gone months, some of you. One of the moms, when I was leaving here last night, grabbed me in the parking lot. She said, Melissa is really second-guessing her choice to stick by you guys. Melissa keeps saying, Abby has ruined Maddie. You know, I shouldn't have done it. Nobody That's twisted done. her arm and said, you need to stick by us. She chose to do that. Yeah. Sometimes it's more important to teach your daughter to do the right thing than to be on top of a pyramid and get a solo. Arabian Nights, better do well. You were dismissed. I want to talk to you. Chloe looks like she wants Hi. to throw up. Come here, Chloe. I don't think you deserve a solo. Not the way your mother speaks to me in the pyramid. I want what's best for you as my dancer. What am I going to do? I'm in between a rock and a hard place. Chloe, I'm giving you your solo back. It's wood time, and we have one day, and now I'm going to start it. We could have been finished with your solo. It could be done by now. Let's go. Now, the theme of the dance is haunted. It's scary. It's dark. And the movement is similar to what we just did in the group dance. Understood? Five, six, step across seven. Chloe is doing a lyrical contemporary piece entitled Haunted. Chloe really has to be an actress to pull off this routine. She needs to be a haunted character. The best way to think about that is by thinking of her mother down, cross, posse. I love watching Chloe dance, and I think that every time Chloe steps on stage, it helps make her a better dancer. So I was really glad that Abby finally, you know, bucked up and was the grown-up about it and said, hey, Chloe, you earned this. It's yours, regardless of what your mother did.
Right, really beautiful leg. Get that leg up and wing that foot. Hey, Chloe, it's not okay to make your own thing up and just keep going. That is unacceptable now. That was for a little kid. I will see you tomorrow morning, ready to get on that bus, and I want perfection. Maddie, I want to talk to you. Miss Abby brought me into Studio C and wanted to have a talk with me. I just wanted Miss Abby to understand that, like, I love to dance and I think I want it more than anyone else. What's going on? Why were you in your car last night crying? I was crying because I was just going to ask you if I could have a solo. I just, like, am feel like this is like my home and... Uh-uh. Every opportunity I have given you came from my heart. Maddie won how many titles? How many times was she on the top of the pyramid? Girls, come on, I want to get going for the pyramid. Where are you? There's people standing in the parking lot. That was awful, Maddie. I don't deserve that. I didn't deserve any of it. There's always another kid. There's always somebody else. We love you. We were ready to work with you. And you sat out there. I'm sorry. Why didn't you get out of the car and go? No, I'm going in there. I'm sorry. Maddie, no solo. Think about what you've done. It's going to take a long time. Mackenzie, you have one day today, you have right now, to fix this dance before we start the group rehearsal and you're competing tomorrow. Brain in the head, focus on nothing but this right now. Turn around. All right, let's go. Mackenzie is doing a contemporary acrobatic routine called Dancing Barefoot. She is used to going out on that stage and smiling and making her cute little faces. Feet are sickled right there. When you go on your side, and fix that. Fix it. Yes. Well, you know what? She's eight now. I want to see beautiful lines. I want to see real choreography. I want to see her tell a story. Maddie was able to do it when she was eight. Up, up, down, down, jet tape, push, roll, roll. Sloppy feet rolling around. Step up. All right, I need to know more about Studio Blue. Well, Abby sure is enamored by them. What are they known for, do you That's know? That's what I'm looking. Although I know the competition will have more than one dance studio there, the only one that Abby cares about at this moment is Studio Blue. Yeah, I'm looking Where are they located? Well, they're in How? Ashburn, Virginia. They'll probably have amazing costumes, an uh -huh. amazing number, and they probably did it in Nationals last year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And didn't whip it up, and they're probably coming out to beat our butts. Three, four, five, you did it again. You're moving your right hand. Didn't you get home late? We got home so late last night. I got home later because Maddie talked to Abby last night. What happened? Her and Abby talked, and Abby cried. Why would Abby cry? Because Aunt Maddie was crying and saying, you know, you're mad at me for something my mother did, and you do, you know, basically she does it to all the kids. Abby said, I love you, and Gia loves you, and, you know, we were just really disappointed in your mom and the decision she made, and... Isn't that a difference in the conversation? Because she sat there and cried and had a nice moment with your daughter, where my daughter, she sat there last night, same thing, and pretty much told her that she was a piece of garbage and didn't deserve to have anything. I mean, I'm glad for you. That's great, like, that your kids are loved, but it's terrible for everyone else. Could you quit running up to the mirror so close? Think! Don't get so close so that you're tumbling into the stool. I'm not yelling anymore. to Woodbridge, Virginia to attend Intensity Dance. There's hundreds of great studios there, and there's a ton of incredible dancers. I'm excited to go there because two of my replacement team members, Bella and Kaylee, will be there at Intensity Dance competing against the Abby Lee Dance Company. Studio Blue is from Virginia. So we are coming to their hometown. We are invading their turf. And I'm pretty sure they want to beat us and kick us out of there. Thank you. Watch out for Studio Blue, that's all I'm saying. Here we 
go. Come on in, girls. You know who the kids from Studio Blue are? Bella and Haley replaced you at your studio, the Abbey Lee Dance Company, traveling to a competition, wearing my name on their back. Keep your eyes out for them. Make sure you are better than them. Stronger, fitter, smarter, sharper. Do all of those things, you'll be fine. Talent prevails. I'm anxious to see their legs and feet and see how much they've improved with my tricks of the trade. But why would you give another yeah. studio your tricks and trades? Because you quit, Kelly. Your kids were sitting at home. They weren't in the studio. Mackenzie, you're my first one up, all right? So you cannot miss a trick, understood? You have to nail every single trick. If the legs aren't straight and the feet aren't pointed, you're not going to win. Go through it. The pressure is on you. You won last week, and I say it every time. You know, getting to the top is one thing, staying there is another thing. Mackenzie looks beautiful. That turquoise costume certainly looks like the beach. But the kid has this look on her face like she is scared to death. Hey, come on, Mackenzie. Now remember, the pressure is on. I'm counting on you to win this division. Don't mess it up, kiddo. Got it? You're not serious enough, Mackenzie. I'm a little nervous for Mackenzie to have this type of solo. She can be real cutesy on stage, but this type of emotion is different for her. Let's go. Abby gave me a harder dance. I'm freaking out that I'm going to forget my solo. All right, skipping ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number nine in the mini solo division. This is Mackenzie with Dancing Barefoot. second where she goes completely black. <laughs> the end, she was early, so she had to add another chin stand in and ends up finishing facing the wrong direction. Dumb mistake, Mackenzie. Dumb mistake. You OK? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're right. She's not Maddie. What? She is not Maddie. Hello! Good job, Ken! Mackenzie, how do you feel like you did? I think I did well. Mackenzie actually danced against eight and nine-year-olds this week, so I just don't think she was ready for this type of dance. Well, well, well. Get on stage and forget your dance. Look like a deer in the headlights. You're like this. So, Mackenzie, let's go through what all you did wrong. You choreographed your own dance at the end, which I don't really appreciate. You were early on the music. You know, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be nasty. I would have loved to have walked in here and had you run and hug me and be so thrilled with your performance. But that's not what you do. You were going to be the overall high score, eight and under. Go out there and do what you did. You went out, you screwed up, you failed. And you know what? She's not ready to do a big girl dance. I don't know what religion you all are. But I'd start praying, because that's all we have left. Chloe, when you step out on the stage, we should have goosebumps. All right, ready? Hit play. Let's go. Every time that Chloe has a solo, I'm always trying to be like, oh, you know, it's OK. But I want Chloe to win. I really want her to go out there, and I want her to prove that she is a force to be reckoned with. Girls, 
If we bump into those kids that showed up to replace you, you will be nice and you will say hello like I have taught you. Okay, make me proud. I will. Make yourself proud. Okay. The kid that came in that replaced you, you're now up against. Let's go. Head up, confident. All right, you're gonna be beautiful, right? Be gorgeous. Hey, ladies. Hey, Abby. Hey, how are you? Hi, right, girls. This is Bella and this is Kaylee. Hi. Tell them how old you are. I'm 11. You when did? No. Were you not 10 at that audition? I just turned 11. Oh, you did. Okay. So, Chloe, you're 11. So, all right. Well. Best of luck, oh, so ladies. Confused. You're very tall. Yeah, I'm confused why they had to ask their moms how old they were. They just had birthdays, I think. Because they compete at little... different age. You know the rules. They compete yeah. different and age. January 1st is the age. I really just, like was making fun of our kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was just wondering because we have problems with people all the time saying fake ages. So oh, that's no, no, what no, we no, were wondering. No. We run into these studio blue dancers in the hall, and Abby's like, oh, tell them how old you are. And the kids are like, how old am I? Like. How do you not know how old you are? Let's go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You, too. Good luck. you know, we've seen these tricks before by someone named Kathy, and those people were like 27. That was weird. All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division. This is entry number 21. Isabella with over and over again. as I thought she was going to be. She never utilized her space. I think Chloe has a good shot now. All right, up next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 22, Kaylee with There's Always Hope. incredible dancer. She's strong yet graceful. She has lovely lines and she can turn like nobody's business. I'm a little bit nervous before my solo because I don't really like it when Miss Abby gets mad because she gets really loud and kind of scary. All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 20, Chloe with Monte.
When Chloe dances from the heart, it's such a difference. And I don't think that she connected with this piece. I think she did really well. I think she hit her turns. But it wasn't quite what I know Chloe can do. I thought she danced really well, but I thought she danced better in the studio. I'm not going to lie. I did. I thought, but I think they're always better in the studio. I don't know. Right. Yeah. What did you think of Chloe's performance? I thought it was good, and I, I was very honest with Chloe. I thought she did it better in the studio. I know Chloe can be great. I've seen her be great. Well, we need to get back to being great. I, I realize that, and that's what I said and to I'm her. I'm sorry, Kelly, if this offends you, but Chloe's future can't be at the expense of your two kids. Melissa, you can tell all the other moms about it, right? You know, sometimes people make mistakes, and you make mistakes, Abby, too. I've made lots of mistakes. Okay, so have I. You are more worried about I... your friendships with all of these women than your own kids, and you know it. My kids... The same thing no. about worrying about a guy instead of your own kids. Yes. My kids Going from one today. husband to another so? instead of just worrying about your kids? Please. We have a happy household. Well, your kid doesn't look very happy to me. Really? Absolutely. I think Sophia Lucio rocked her world. One more thing, all of you kids, you need to listen up. If one person really has the dreams and the passion to do this for a living, yep. nothing Keep should get together. in their way. Melissa, listen to what I'm saying. I'm hearing nothing you. Nothing should get in their way. And I know. Not your personal life, I not their personal dad's life. personal life, not some other kid. It has nothing to do with that. Maddie needs to focus. The dance studio is the place that she thinks of as home. I know that. And you ripped her out of there and let her sit in the parking lot for 12 hours. I feel sorry for Maddie. She had a good thing going. Melissa, you're doing your kid an injustice. I am not going to sit in a dressing room with a bunch of kids and a bunch of disrespectful mothers. Abby just took some things out on Maddie instead of me, and it's just her way of getting to me. Stop. Stop now. You know what? It's OK to cry, no, though. No, because she has all this makeup on. It's well, not OK to I mean, cry. It's OK there's to no cry. She's upset. That woman just berated her mother, her father, everybody. You know what? You should be upset, too. And you should have put a stop to that woman you know what? saying that it stuff. It is what it is. I have a wonderful life. You let her do that to you. I'm not going to upset my she child. She already upset her for you. Obvious Abby's not coming back in no, here. Obviously. No, We're in the not. dressing room getting ready to go on stage, and Abby didn't even run the dance with them. OK, girls, if you're dressed, get over here. Christy was running the dance with them. Christy never took a dance lesson in her life. And Abby expects us to go out there and get first. Beautiful feet, girls. I might not be a dance teacher, but I've watched enough dance in my life to know what looks good and what looks bad. Straight legs. Straight legs, all of you. 100 times better. Yay! All right, here we go one more time in the junior small group division. This is entry number 47, Studio Blue. I was totally moved by the number. I thought it was outstanding. They did it with grace. This dance was an advanced routine. I think it's important that we beat them because Miss Abby always says, your replacements are better than you. And I want to prove to her that we're better than them. This is entry number 26, entitled Arabian Denver! Nights.
That was into number 26, Olivian Knights. I really think that it's going to be a close all this week, Studio Blue and our number. I think it's going to be one and two, mm, hoping that we're number one. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of the competition. All right, we are ready to move into our divisional overalls. We're going to start off in the elite mini soul division of competition. In fourth place is Miss Taryn with act number two, Amazing Grace. Third place is Miss McKenzie with act number nine, Dancing Barefoot. Really, third, she goes from first to third in six days. What went wrong? She was clearly outdanced. We're going to jump now to elite junior soloists. Fourth place is Miss Isabella with act number 21 over and over again. Your first runner up from our elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Chloe with act number 20, Haunted. Just imagine if Chloe worked over the break, if she had her mother being nice and sweet and paying her bills on time. Chloe would have been first. Chloe would be amazing. And last but not least, that top spot in the elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Haley with act number 22, There's Always Hope. Chloe beat Bella, but she didn't beat Kaylee. Not even close. Moving now into our elite junior small groups. In fifth place is act number 10, Cell Block Tango. Fourth place is act number 26, Arabian Nights. This is incredibly humbling. Like, we have not come in fourth since, can you remember? Third place with a score of 279 points is act number 27, AU. Second place with a score of 280.5 points is act number four, Watching You. And last but not least, that top spot from our elite junior small group division of competition belongs to act number 47, Studio Blue. Talk about a horrible weekend. Talk about a bad experience. Ugh, that was it. I don't know what to say. It was humiliating. I was humbled by the experience. National champions to fourth, you just proved my point. The break, the parking lot, the work ethic, you went from national champions against amazing dancers to being fourth. So if they did the routine to the best of their ability, then who's responsible here? You. Chloe's back tuck. Oh my god, Abby, you just can't let the whole standing back tuck argument go. You know, Chloe clearly wasn't ready to do it. Maybe you should look at the real reason we got fourth place. Bad choreography. Chloe, take a little check and imagine if you were equally as flexible on the right and the left, and if you were on time every single Monday. Abby, her school is dismissed at 4.30. She comes. So she's late. Why don't you pick her up and see if you can get her Why there on time? Why don't you just get an early dismissal on Mondays? Because she's not getting an early dismissal because she's going to school. Christy, stop making excuses for your kid. Do you have a great kid? Yes, every parent in America has a great kid. We get it. Is her left split as good as her right? No. That's my concern. I guess your mom's happy with mediocre, too. Chloe, you have Stop to put the work on. Stop picking on my kid. I am not picking on you your kid. You pick on the children. Because you're an idiot. You are the biggest idiot I've ever met. If you met. would get off your phone and worry about your kid and worry about her left leg. Abby, there are so many things I could say to you right now, and I'm going to say nothing. Because really? Really, Christy? Yeah, OK, really? fatty. Fatty, 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 Next on Dance Moms. I need to beat Abby Lee Miller. That's why you guys are here. And you all know how I get 
when Kathy shows up. She'll bark when she sees Abby? I bark when I see Abby, too. I really need her to look great, because when you look good, you feel good, exactly. you do good. I don't like people going behind my back. It wasn't behind your back. I thought it was helping you out. Kendall, I don't think you'll be doing your solo. Then I'm going home. <laughs> nice job, Chloe. Christy, worry about your own kid.